Today is April 25th. I received this word from the Lord at 3.25 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time. Before I get into what he said, he wants me to read from this particular scripture. I'm going to be reading from the English Standard Version. This is Matthew chapter 23, verse 25. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. The Lord said that this word in particular is for children of God. And he also said all who this pertains to. This is what the Lord said. You will see the church being judged very harshly in the days ahead. I am going to expose the hypocrisy among many well-known leaders and evangelists, those who are quick to polish the outside of the cup while the inside is defiled and corrupt. This will come as a shock to many of you as there is much wickedness that will be pulled out of darkness and exposed by my marvelous light. For what can be concealed from my all-seeing eyes? What can man possibly hide from my sight? Their treachery will come at a very high price. In a single day, I will strip them bare and expose their nakedness for all the world to see. Their vile actions and abominations will be judged in equal measure. They will receive no more and no less than their actions deserve. I am a God of justice." Then he told me to pull up this particular scripture from Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen. Repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. The Lord went on to say that this is just the beginning. I will hold them fully accountable for their adulterous ways, their treachery, their manipulation, their lascivious acts, their greed and insatiable lust for everything that appeals to them. None of it will go unpunished. I do not enjoy their joyous celebrations, their feasts and festivities in my honor when nothing about their conduct is honorable. Their praises are empty and their sacrifice is meaningless. There is no fear of me in their hearts. Many have become prideful, corrupted by the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Instead of turning away from their sin, their feet run swiftly to all forms of evil. I said, be not conformed to the world, but I cannot tell them apart. They have fallen victim to the approval of man. I said friendship with the world is enmity with me, and yet that is where they make their allegiances. They parade around in long flowing robes, robes of extortion, robes of greedy self-indulgence, robes of treachery and lies. The truth is not in them. They are on the broad road to hell and know it not. Their self-righteousness is a stench in my nostrils, a blind and lame animal placed upon the altar. That is the sacrifice they offer up to me. Should I be pleased with such a defective offering? They are the blind leading the blind, leading the masses into a ditch. The glory they give me is theatrical and rehearsed of falsehood. Everything they do is for the applause of men. What vanity lives in their hearts. They are worthless shepherds leading my people straight to hell with their strange gods and their many idols. They think that no one sees their filthy abominations, but I have seen and I will repay, says the Lord. Vengeance is 
and will always be mine. As always, don't take my word for it. Take this back to the Lord in prayer. Get in your word. Ask him to confirm what you have heard today. We are told to test the spirits, um, and I would encourage you to do that. I pray that all of you will have the discernment you need to make um, to make a decision about what you've heard today, especially if it pertains to you.